hello friends welcome to simply kdp in this video i'm going to show you how you can create children's coloring books that you can sell on amazon kdp so once you are done watching this video you should be able to create something like this using the power of ai and canva now before we get started allow me just to thank those of you that have taken the time to subscribe to the channel my 200 plus subscribers thank you very much so the more subscribers we get the more i'm going to be encouraged to post on the channel so if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and hit the like button whenever you see a new video upload content so we are going to actually go through the complete beginner's guide to creating kids coloring books with ai and canva so i also have a guide which i'm going to give out with this video that you can actually follow along and also be able to create these coloring books now remember friends that i'm not selling this i'm giving out for free so i would appreciate if you actually do take the time just to like like the video share the video and also subscribe to the channel so we are going to go through the complete beginner's guide to creating kids coloring books with ai now before you do anything always 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 do keyword research before creating your books and then you can come back to this beginner's guide now if you don't know how to do keyword research i have a detailed guide it's an old video maybe i need to update this but doing keyword research for amazon kdp does not change so now for the sake of this video i'm going to assume that you've done the keyword research have an idea of what you want to create about or which books are selling on amazon and now want to start creating the kids coloring book now first and foremost you have to complete these before you actually create your coloring book now these are some questions that will guide you so that you have a focus i've seen a lot of people who just jump in without deciding what they want to do and they'll just go with the flow of course there are people who find success with that but i advise you to follow this answer which age group is the kids coloring book you are creating okay now when you understand the age group even when you're let's say designing or having the images generated by ai that we're going to use you will also take into account of the people you are targeting now once you've answered that one you have to pick what is the benefit of the coloring book you are creating so from the list below pick the benefit of your coloring book now for example there are many benefits of why we create coloring book most of us self publishers we're just creating for the sake of wanting to earn some income of course that's one of the benefits but that benefit is more to you as a creator or publisher of that book rather than the person you're selling to so first and foremost you need to understand what is it that they are going to get when they buy your coloring book when you understand this it will be easy even to target those people so for example you can have the reason relaxation and stress relief and that is one of the reasons people buy coloring books to help with their stress relief there is more explanations which you can find here when you check out this i will link it in the description so the other one is stimulating creativity is your book just about stimulating the creativity of individuals if that is the case you choose this one then there's one of my favorite educational purposes now current books can be educational tools that teach children about different subjects such as animals plants history and more in an interactive and engaging way this is one of my favorites and especially when it comes to kids coloring books mostly like the first one relaxation and stress relief is very good if you're creating an adult coloring book for amazon self-publishing all right everything else is here i'm not going to go through everything so let's say you've picked whichever category you want here then now the other thing is now from the choice that you've made from this list what do you want them to learn if they are learning something I give some extra details whatever it is in your mind just write it down so for example what is the age group the answer to my first question age group is three to six education is the benefit of picked. i'm creating a kids coloring book for the ages three to six and it's for educational purposes then what specifically or give some extra details so some extra details i want them to learn the alphabet so you can see th that is enough you don't have to complicate things that is the extra detail that i want okay. so now once you have actually answered these three questions and have actually written them down you want now to go to step one and that is to open any ai app of your choice now for me personally i like to go with chat gpt or copilot mostly i use copilot because you get the paid stuff you can get it for free so that's why i like to use copilot that's why i have a link here but of course it's up to you you can use chat gpt or whichever ai as long as you are able to get similar or the same results that's all right okay now you want to type in a prompt like i'm thinking of creating a children's coloring book for educational purposes now you can see why this is underlined that's 
my benefit here okay so what you're going to do let me just copy this i'm going to open up the ai so in copilot you want to paste in the prompt that is actually here now in your case you're not maybe going to have the same things that i have here mostly what you want to replace is this that is underlined or both for example i'm thinking of creating a children's coloring book for educational purposes so if let's say you are not creating a kids coloring book but maybe you're creating for adults you're going to just say i'm thinking of creating an adult coloring book for relaxation and stress relief purposes then specifically you are going to put now the extra details that you mentioned in this step right here here in copilot i'm just going to enter and see the results that i actually get okay. and you can see that copilot is now suggesting what we can use so for example you can see on the first page or the first letter is a and it's saying a is for apple so we can have an apple tree with apples in the shape of the letter a all right that's a good idea then b is for balloon you can have balloons floating in the sky forming the letter so let's say you are happy with the suggestions that have been given to you you are going to come back to this template now step two is simply to generate the sketch images that we're going to use in our kids coloring book and this is where ai will play a role in the past you'll have to hire a designer or a freelancer to actually create the designs for you but with the coming in of ai things have become very simple and i feel for those who are making a lot of money offering this as a service all right so now to generate the sketch images you're going to use different prompts now for example you can create a coloring image for a kite in black and white with simple black lines now sometimes ai can be a bit surprising you might find that the prompt that worked this time around doesn't work the next time so you have to add as much detail as possible so i just went in and actually copied this uh, exact prompt and pasted it in copilot and these are some of the results that i got for a kite so you can see it's quite a good image let me just maybe try to copy another and you can see we have other prompts that i've actually created so here you can see like create a coloring image for a cut with black and simple board lines so let me just copy this and try to actually paste it in copilot and we see the results we actually get so when you are generating the images you have to make sure you download them to a folder and so that you, when you start uh, creating the designs you won't have any changes finding or locating your images so let's see what we are going to get for the prompt with a cut okay all right so you can see these are some of the images we are getting now if you're not happy with the image that you get you can add further details for example i can change this to say maybe a clean uh, coloring image of a cut and the likes okay so if you're happy let's say with the images that you've generated just simply download them now step three you have to choose the book size and page count using kdp cover calculator now the most popular size i'm going to save you the hustle is 8.5 by 11 inches or a 6 by 9 and the pages most common is 52 pages now you have to note that we're not going to create actually 52 designs no we're going to create about half maybe less of these pages that are going to have images half of the pages are going to be blank pages and you see when we get to canva before we go to canva let's open kdp cover calculator there's something you need to take note of when you are actually creating your book okay so now this is kdp canva calculator so here where it says binding type you want to select and you want to choose paper back that's what we're going to be creating then interior type you're going to choose just standard color since we're creating something that is not colored standard color is okay then paper type here you want to choose white paper okay that's just all right then reading direction is left to right which is the most common then measurement units unless you are creating for a different country let's say for example china i think they read from right to left i'm not sure about that but i think that's how it is then measurement units you're going to go with inches then the interior trim size let's just go with 8.5 by 11 inches then the page count here we are going to go with 52 pages and we're going to click on calculate dimensions and it's going to give us our dimension so first and foremost you also want to download the template because when you're creating the cover we are going to use that template all right now the other thing you want to take note of or that we're going to need is the margin gutter or the margin size now this is the size that we're going to use when creating our book in canva when you're formatting your book so that you don't have any complications 
there's what we call bleed and no bleed. So for those of you who don't understand what bleed is and what no bleed is, let's say for example, if you are creating a book and you say you choose that you want bleed, what that simply means is that if you have an image and the image you had it on the entire page, when you set with bleed, it means the image will spread out to the entire page. So let's say for example, this entire if this was a page, the entire page will have the image like this you are seeing here on the screen. Now if you choose no bleed, then the image will be cut and it will be even with the writings. So you can see it won't stretch out to the end of the page. So this is what is here and this is a page with bleed. Now it is advisable, I think I mentioned it even in my guide, it is advisable your sketchbook has no bleed. Then the other thing you want to take note of is that when you scroll down here you can see where they say margins. If you book is page count between 24 to 150 pages then you have to put the inside gutter margins at least 0 0.3 seven five inches or 9.6 millimeters so let's go to canva and start creating our design so when you open up canva i want to click on create design and you want to go to custom size and we're going to put 8.5 by 11 then here you have to make sure it's inches then click create new design so now once your design has been opened up now you can see the red line that is appearing on our page now the reason that is appearing is because of the settings i was using canva recently but most likely for you it won't be there and for you to see this when you click on file and you click on settings here when you go to show print bleed you will see this by default this is not ticked when you click again on file there's something else you want to click you most likely won't see this ruler and grids that appear so you want to make sure that show rulers and guides is ticked then the next thing you want to do now we want to add some Something here lines or maybe we want to have create our page where we have taken account measurements we looked at it which is the 0 0.375 inches so the way I like to do sometimes you can just drag a line from here and you want to drag it when you reach here zero you want to drag it until you reach 3.75 now this is sometimes a bit difficult to get accurately so what I like to do is just get any shape like that page and make sure it is centered then when you add that shape what you're going to do is click on position here and you want to dr drag this shape far to the end okay just to the end of the page like that okay in the center then now you want to start reducing the size of the page now as you reduce it pay attention to the width here and just reduce it until you get 0 0.375 so now here you can see if I reduce it it's a bit difficult to reduce it manually so the easiest is just simply to type it in just type it in here 375 like that okay now when you type in 3.75 when you click away canva will round off to 0 0.38 that's all right that's okay better you are slightly above than below then also the height you want to also reduce the height and also get the same measurement so that it is a square okay then that's a square so what you're going to do is just now to duplicate this and add it also to the other side like that duplicate it one more time then add it to the other side okay like that so now we have this now it's easy when you're doing it like this now all you have to do is now when you drag the lines with the ruler you can just simply do that it's very easy now for us to do okay like that like that here when you drag the lines you can see that it's showing 0 0.375 the actual measurements okay so this is very good and now we can just delete those things okay we are almost done we just need to add elements again then we're going to add another shape like that and we're going to change this maybe let's say to black like that then once you have it you want to click on these lines border style and you want to make sure you change this border style to a line okay then once you change it to a line you want to also change the border weight maybe to two like that which is okay then of course you don't want rounded corners then once you are done with that you want to simply drag this all the way to the corners of the page okay like that okay so once you have dragged the shape to all the corners you're going to come back to the color and just change it now to white okay like that so you can see that now we have this shape and we can actually now get rid of our lines so that we don't get inconvenienced or we don't drag them by mistake okay so you can see now that is our page and think it looks nice okay i think it looks nice that is all right so the other thing now what is only left is now for us to create the other pages so if you have created these pages what you're going to do let's say for example i'm going to just simply upload an image here and just click upload files and i'm going to add one of the images that i created 
page for a cut now once it's uploaded you just need to drag it now to the page like that okay and just enlarge the image a bit maybe to something like that yeah and place it in the center or at least it looks nice like that now the reason i place it a bit higher is because i want to add some text here add a heading okay and we're going just to type in cut then once we type in cut you just need to drag it here make sure it's center then we're going to enlarge it like that so now once you have that okay let's position the image a bit so that it looks much better now the other thing with canva is that if you have a pro account you can actually even remove the image background especially if let's say it's not in white you can just simply remove the background so that it looks nice now here the cut we want to also change this because remember this is a coloring book we want the learners to have as much fun with everything that is on the page as possible so let's change the font maybe to something else we want it to be appealing to kids so let's see what we can get yeah i think that one looks nice then after we have that font which is the little one and we're going to go to effects then we want to change it to hollow we want also this to be shaded by the learner so we have that as our page now we have cut and we have this i mean the only thing that is remaining is just for you now to duplicate this as many times as possible so we're going to duplicate this at least 24 times and just replace the images so just click on duplicate page duplicate page now the other way of doing it just uh, here on the bottom you see where it says grid view just change it to grid view like this then when you have grid view you just want to to duplicate the page so that you see actually you are getting more pages okay so you can see that's no the, these are the pages so let's say let me just duplicate it more times all right so now let's say we have these pages and you can see they are 16 and if i add more so that we have 24 those are 24 pages and we're going to add different images here remember we want them to learn the alphabet so now once we have these pages the other thing we're going to do we are going to add blank pages in between so that when they are sketching we don't want the back of the page to also have anything on it so you're going to click on the first one and just click add page and you can see an, another page has been added which is a blank page you go to the next one click add page now i've just gone right ahead and added all the blank pages in between the pages and you will realize that once you do that you will have a total of 48 pages but you can see here on the screen i have 52 pages and the reason i have 52 pages is because there are other four pages that you need to add and these are the four pages before your designs now the first page will be a blank page when they open the book they will see a blank page now this is intentional there's no need to worry just have a blank page then the next page will be a copyright page let me just uh, switch back to the view that we can see so you can see the first page is blank then the second page is the copyright page where you have your title of the book then you have the copyright issue your name the day the year you published then all rights reserved then no part of this whatever blah 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 blah. that's just a copyright thingy and here you have the page this belongs to dash where they can write their name you know kids love to have or claim on then you also have another blank page then that's when you have now the designs or the drawings or the illustrations that they can color so you can see this cut then we have a blank page now this will be the back page for this page so if this page then the, this is the back page similarly the next page then the back page just like that okay that's why we are having blank pages in total it will be 52 pages but the only thing we added is around 24 pages so you will just have to edit these designs put the images that you generated for whatever it is then actually have this now i'm going to give you this template provided that this video reaches 50 likes